Positively Montana is sponsored by Whitefish Credit Union. When the pandemic threatened holiday events and traditions last year, Missoula parents Brian and Lynn Lease couldn't bear the thought of a Christmas without any cheer. So they gathered a team of volunteers, raised over $6,000, and brought one of the Valley's favorite traditions back home, the Santa flyover. Hearing the kids and the adults screaming for Santa was unbelievable. Uh, it was inspiring. After securing support from the Missoula Downtown Foundation, the Santa flyover went off without a hitch and it left everyone wanting and expecting more. There was never a doubt that we were going to take another run at it. Getting Santa in the air takes one part fundraising, one part logistics and one part heart. Luckily, head elves Brian and Lynn Lease have plenty of that to give. We both were born here. We grew up here in the valley and it's something we remembered as kids, and it was something we wanted our kids to, to experience. And I mean, our two little ones and our little one to be um, are, are all excited. And I mean, my wife's the heart of this thing. She, she's the one that, that brought the passion to it, and I've just kind of grown with it as I went along. And I'm just as invested in it now, but it's beyond just us. It's the sponsors, the volunteers, and above all, the community whose involvement can't be downplayed as organizers race to reach their fundraising goal. So as of Friday afternoon, we were at 44% of our $5,000 goal that we had set for this year's fundraising. Now, um, I mean, Cost of the flight's gone up, everything's gone up, and there is still things we have to fix on him this year. We'll have directions on how to donate to the Santa Flyover on kpax.com. Sources say a donation to the flight is an automatic referral to Santa's nice list. We're trying so hard to make this thing grow and make it every year. In Missoula, Megan Mannering, MTN News.